context of my poem because uh, I think everyone knows that the prize, uh, the, the competition demanded a poem on the works of Charles Dickens. But um, just to say, and I know you all know that Fagin is one of the villains of Oliver Twist, but there is a little bit of a funny extra, extra twist, I may say, um, in that some about eight years ago, I was with a group of people writing poetry, and in this month of doing it, we were looking at a book by Elizabeth Bishop called her, one of her collections, Geography Three, and in it there is a poem, Crusoe in England, and it's about Robinson Crusoe when he comes back to England after his adventures are over, and so that was kind of a model to write a persona poem in the voice of a fictional character. In the dock, Fagin reflects. I don't talk, but you judge skin and hair, the nose I'll be rid of. I am everywhere and nowhere like fog, at market where lads elbow patrons at bloated stalls, and in my den, weighing a timepiece as I muse on laws of property. Bones cloaked by dark on a moonless night too fleet to see. I live in thin air. Goods slip through my fingers like boys down to whiskers. Call me a middleman who turns stock regularly. I never touch a mark, only the boys. They reach and find what no one misses, and I convert to currency, <coughs> living on the margin. I form each apprentice, wan face against bellies, slender fingers and pockets stretched over thighs thick as hands. Swear, would you name me? I fork out boys from the fire, parents, pallid as I. A chin stares up, the rim of a plate, featureless porcelain, transparency of value to the trade, stealthy violet skin. Too much feed and the touch isn't fine. I am their university and lessons of charity begins at home. Tutored to the slippery street, my dears learn their catechism, pluck food from the pavement where an orange peel on cobbles flashes gaudy as orient sun burnt as a Jew's head. I'll hang for my color, worse than a watch in the wrong pocket, blood on a cloth set for tea. My race offends the nose, ranker than what I utter. A lady observes me no more than a brown lump in the gutter. Shall I state my plea? I am a dry cake you crush, your lordship, by decree. <coughs> We lighten a purse by a fob or handkerchief to many. A slight weight lifted sets a body free. <laughs> <laughs>